consider taking is called landscaping. Um, but this one, you really need to have inspiration of the location and timing. Timing definitely one of the key factors. Uh, unless you really have an eye on photo, then it's very difficult to take. Next thing, you can do product shooting. These are called product shootings. It's quite controlled. You just need to have an idea and you can just continue shoot. Um, if, unless you want to go for photojournalism, where you have to go out there, like for example, Thai, uh, Taiwan now having an earthquake, those people dying and hot stuff, you go there and take, uh, that's a nice picture. Understand? So it depends what kind of topics you want to talk about for a final year. Yeah? So you can go for also landscape. This is nearby here in Bitabo. This is down the road here in Zoo, at Zoo there in Indian one. Malaysia KL have this have this view. Surprisingly, I know. And also this is in uh, this is in Kapong, Fring. Kapong, Fring there. Yeah. yeah. No. Free water, waterfall there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah waterfall. Yeah. I feel like this one. You have to go all the way up. Oh. So she don't know also. She stayed in Malaysia for a few years, maybe she don't even know where you share this thing. Sand oh. or? Always hide in the house. See? Huh? Yes, definitely. It's a very nice place, seriously. Um, next thing is called logography. <laughs> logography means expired film. Um, it was a trend for a while. Recently, it was slowed down already. I think seven, eight years ago it was such a big thing. You guys know Lomography? Never heard before. Heard before? Monography. Lomo. It's a Russian development. They were using expired film. Why are you guys so friendly, right? Yeah. Huh? I feel excited to know Because you're not excited to find out what is it, right? Yeah. <coughs> This is Lomo, and this is all Lomo. Like old style. Uh, their camera are all plastic, and it looks like old style, correct? And their phone are all expired. You will not be able to get the similar art style like that for more than two times. Right? Understand? Clear. These are all Lomo photo. All this Lomo photo. Lomo. 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 Huh? Correct. Is. Uh, you do not know the outcome until you develop it, but this is how it looks like. It's very unique, one. It only will take once. Yeah? So I try Lomo and Lomo. Okay. This is a Lomo. So you can try a lot more if you guys want to do final. I'm fine with it. Then also this are lot more so. Then you also can talk, consider using action picture or so. Nowadays people try various type of action shooting. So these are GoPro, action shooting GoPro. Anyone want a GoPro here? No. My friend got GoPro. These are Instagram Square. Instagram are very famous with the square picture. Everything is square. Question. So these are team. We call this team. You can select any team and then go from there. Then you create a story. Alright, so it's up to you guys which one you want to go for. If you want to go back and white portrait shooting, also can. It's up to you also. But you need to find someone to portray for you. If you have studio lighting to shoot it, you want better. So it means that if you want to shoot black and white, I can borrow my camera to you. No mind. You can try out. Okay? You can use my link call. So compose the photograph by Andrew Huston. Now, how do I compose a photograph? Composition is the key to an interesting photograph. Despite, despite all the technical jargon, photography is essentially an art form. And its more its most important aspect is the composition. To improve your art skill, find the photos you like and study them, asking yourself why you like it. Um, but you guys never look at pictures at all. Um, that's the issue, yeah? So why exactly do I like this picture? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Natural. 
So this was actually the most famous picture in Windows XP, you know. It yeah. was there for so many, many years. And people are spending a gazillion dollars to buy it. Okay, so so far these are the best picture, yeah? So why do you like this picture? It's there's, a, there's a story behind it, there's yeah. communication between the two person. Do you notice that? Yeah. The eye. Communication. So when you look at the picture, you can consider more and more factors into it. This picture was actually shot and it was award winning. Okay? Next thing. Why is this such a nice picture? Focus. Correct. It also says a story. Correct also. And this thing called rules of odds. Another thing we call asymmetry. Notice that? Okay? It's a very nice composition it was composed perfectly done. But there's a story that could be that the bride was regretted to get married. Nah. Never know, right? It was a whole meaning. Next thing, subject. Subject is very important on your picture. Most of you did not be able to get to so. You see that kind of students? I'll show you Yi Chi's picture next week. <laughs> see how bad it is, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her they know. Okay now, when you take photograph, identify what the subject is. Answering a person, a building, yeah? It's not good enough. You need to go deeper and specific. This is very important. Every single picture we take has to be going way much deeper than just a picture, yeah? Remember the picture we talked about? Uh, no. The Princess Diana picture. Mm. No? Mm, yes. First class. I want to see the African kid. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. Why is the picture so beautiful? Because there's a story, a very deep story in that there. Okay? So same goes to it. If I take a picture of uh, Emma, is, is, a, is there a deep, deep story there? Don't have, right? Because Emma is still so young. There's not much story yet. If I take a picture of Crystal, is there any story there? Don't have, right? So if I take a picture of Annie, also don't have. Now, who do we think there's a story? Correct. We'll take our Prime Minister. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of story. A lot of story. <laughs> Very deep story. So if I take a picture of my Prime Minister like that, what? the article can write like, oh, he's having now a lot of problems. <laughs> so you guys understand the meaning, right? Okay? Deeper, specific, okay? The curves of the body, the crumbling stone work, activate your senses, we call that, yeah? So this is the one of a very good picture. Okay, now when you look at it, what do you feel? What kind of emotion do you trigger? Mm. First question. Uh, let's talk about... When you look, you look at this picture, can you feel any sense of the ear? Means can you imagine the sound? Sound there. Yeah. Okay. Second thing. Smell of the nose. Do you think this girl smells good? Kind of forest. Huh? Forest plant smell. Plant smell. Guys, do you think she smells good? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Would she smell bad? No. Don't think so, right? Yeah. Now four. Did she give you an emotionally like welcoming on your eye? Yeah. Did she welcome you to look at her? Mm -hmm. So you understand? It's called senses. Mm -hmm. Understand, right? If I put this my our Prime Minister first, or my Prime Minister wife. What kind, of, no. what kind of senses will you trigger? Oh, you. Oh. you. Very rich, oh. Okay, now. Uh, Emma do not know who's our... I know, Rosemar. <laughs> oh my god. Now, what sort of senses do you trigger? Oh, is it okay to <laughs> say it? Huh? Is it safe to say my opinion? You know, it's, it's within this four wall. There's no recording here. Yeah. But you, you have.